Chapter 7 of The Scarlet Letter is named for where it takes place, the Governor's Hall. Two to three years pass and Hester and Pearl go to Governor Bellingham's Hall. Hester brings a pair of sewn and embroidered gloves. Her primary purpose is to block the plan to take Pearl away from her. Authorities say she's an unfit mom due to her affair. Pearl is dressed in a fancy scarlet dress embroidered with gold thread. Children tease her and Hester on the way, but Pearl chases them away. Hester and Pearl enter the governor's entrance hall, and Pearl is delighted to see the scarlet letter reflected in the armor on display, grossly enlarged by its reflection. Hester takes Pearl to the garden, and she cries for a red rose, only calming down when some men approach. Now in this chapter, Pearl is seen as the living embodiment of Hester's sin, proof of the affair. Hester dresses Pearl as a miniature A. Hester makes this parallel even more obvious when she shows scorn for the Puritan's moral cruelty. The symbol of sin is repeated in the red rose Pearl cries for, and that rose is a symbol of Hester, like the bush that grew by the jail in chapter one. The gross exaggeration of the scarlet letter shows that people do not see Hester, only her sin.